Hello, my name is Dr. Tasha and I'm a breast cancer surgeon. When we worry about something, chances are that that worry turns into something you want to ignore. Perhaps it's like something that you have noticed in the breast, for example, that you are unsure about and want to get checked, but you may be slightly apprehensive and even scared. You might be scared about what to expect, about not knowing what scans you may need, and perhaps scared also about what may be found. The truth is, the majority of breast concerns turn out to be nothing worrying at all, but you won't know unless you get them checked. So, let me tell you what happens in a breast clinic. I would suggest setting aside about an hour and a half to two hours for your appointment. Sometimes clinics can be delayed, so I would suggest giving yourself enough time for this Bring something along to read, for example, maybe something to listen to, and even somebody for company. What type of clinic? In the UK, it is likely that you will attend a one-stop breast clinic. This essentially means that everything is done all during one visit. These kind of clinics are also known as rapid diagnostic clinics or same-day clinics. And here, you will get what is called a triple assessment, and this includes a physical examination, scans if necessary, and also biopsies if necessary. So all is done during one clinic visit, which of course saves time, but it also reduces the anxiety of having to return for multiple visits. That means at the end of the day, you will leave with a diagnosis and an explanation of the cause of your symptoms. If all is well, then you'll be discharged back to your referring doctor or your GP or family physician. However, if you did have a biopsy, then you'll be asked to return usually within a week or 10 days for the results. What happens when you see the doctor? Well, firstly, the doctor will ask about your symptoms. So for example, how long you've had your lump for, when you notice it, whether it's changed at all recently, how long you've had your breast pain or the changes in your breast shape or skin, whatever those symptoms are, the doctor will want to know about it in more detail. They will also ask about your medical history as well as your family history of breast cancer. Once the doctor has all that information, the next step will be the physical examination. And for this, you'll be asked to get undressed from the top half. There should be a chaperone present and you can always request a chaperone during your examination if there isn't one there already. If the doctor feels it is necessary for you to have scans, then you will either have an ultrasound or a mammogram or both. Now, in the UK, mammograms are only done if you are over the age of 40. And this is because young people's breasts are quite dense and it has been found that mammograms aren't particularly helpful in detecting lesions in the absence of any clinical or ultrasound detected lesions. If you are under 40 though, and we did find something suspicious on the ultrasound scan or clinically, then you will also get a mammogram, but otherwise you won't. What if there is something abnormal? Well, if this is the case, then a biopsy will be performed and this is usually done there and then. The biopsy is done under local anesthetic, which is injected to numb the area and the skin surrounding it. Once this is done, using a biopsy needle, a sample of the lump or the area of concern is taken. And sometimes up to three or four samples are taken, and this is done to make sure that we get a good representative sample of the breast tissue. The whole procedure doesn't take very long and it shouldn't be painful. The worst part of the procedure is actually the injection of the local anesthetic. Once the specimens are taken, then they will be sent to the lab for analysis. After you've had these scans taken, you usually go back to see the doctor to discuss the results and go through them together. If all is fine, then you can leave the clinic knowing that your symptoms have been thoroughly investigated. You'll be given appropriate advice and some written information to take home with. If you did have a biopsy and it turned out to be a cancer, then a variety of treatment options are available. Now we'll cover the different types of breast cancer treatment in another video. In the meantime, take care and I'll see you in the next one.